So you can see we got the first line of barbed wire up, except for this one post where there's a giant hole. Now for the rest of this patch, we're gonna put electric fence around, except for down there, we're gonna put barbed wire across the end. Okay, so Alex got the second row of barbed wire up. Come on, buddy. And we're off to go get the third and fourth wires up. We added lines for the one, two, three foot marks on there. As you can see, he's putting it on this two foot mark. If you've watched our first video on building this fence, you know that we're trying to do this as cheap as possible. So we put in as many old T-posts as we could find on the property. And we actually didn't buy any T-posts yet. Put staples in, make sure that the wire's lined up with the mark I made. We're gonna drive it out. So Alex is gonna show us how to put on the clips for the wire to hold them to the two posts. I spent like 20 minutes trying to put one on by myself and failed miserably. Wait, it's that easy? Okay, so step one, get the wire where you want it. So here, I'm going one inch or one foot intervals. So here's one foot. Okay, I'll put that up there to get it out of the way. I have a clip in hand here. I'm going to grab it by the, the big twirly end. I'm going to come around. I'm going to hook it with the one end and bring it around and bring it in front. In which case, I'm going to get the pliers here. And I'm going to come around and twirl. Okay. Then if you really wanted to and it's not quite tight enough for you, you can come around back here, grab this and tighten. Okay, and that can help just make sure it holds the wire. Yep. Try and... Right? Uh-huh. Bring it in front. <laughs> yep, if you can't quite get in front, that's okay. You just gotta leave it there. Okay. Grab the pliers. Get the pliers over the long end sticking up. And use the pliers to get it up and over the barbed wire. So, and it'll slip down. Just get the pliers completely up and over. And there we go. And now go. Woo! There we go. She did it, guys. Oh, you don't have to do a full twirl. Just, <laughs> just a half. Twirly, whirly. It makes it really hard to get it back off if you go more than one. If you ever have to tear the fence down. I did tear the fence down, Alex. Uh, I, I did tear the fence down. But they didn't use these. They used a lot of baling wire. Which is a lot easier. You'll have a few left over in the last bag. Let's go.
to roll our barbed wire out and make it a lot easier, I made this uh, little contraption up that goes in the back of the hitch here. And I just made it where I can roll the barbed wire out on that. And I put these plates to keep it stretcher on it. Okay, I've already previously made a mark here of where my one foot is. So once I get to this point where I can't really go forward anymore to stretch it. When I come back here, I tighten this one, and then I can release this guy, release this, and then slide this all the way back to get another grip. Once I have a new grip, then I can start pulling and at the same time release this one. And I just repeat that process until I think the wire is good and tight. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this far. Um, we did get that last bit f wire clipped on to the T-post and it was so good. And we're super excited to get the electric fence up soon and the rest of the barbed wire on that end and so stay tuned we'll get that done soon and if you like this video like subscribe and hit the bell so you can get the notifications for our next videos thanks